Welcome to our live training session number 21. We're going to be tuning a Honda Del Sol using Honda to S300. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. We're going to be finding it has a D16 wide engine. It's going to have a stock bottom end. The top end or the cylinder head is going to have upgraded Skunk 2 valve train, a Skunk 2 cam, and a Skunk 2 intake manifold. Now in addition to this, it also has an arc intake. Otherwise, it's going to be stock. So stock injectors, stock header, stock cat, stock exhaust. This is going to be an excellent training example if you're getting started with the S300 and you want to get a good basis of how to use the software on a very basic or mild application. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can create our base calibration so we can get our live training session started. Welcome to our live training session here with our Honda Del Sol. Now we went over the modifications that have been done to the vehicle, so let's jump into our S Manager so we can create our base calibration. Now jumping into our S Manager software, we're going to the upper left hand corner, we're going to be seeing new calibration. This is going to allow us to select the calibration we're going to be starting with and we can modify that for the base calibration we're going to be creating. So jump in here to new calibration. We have a huge directory of options we can choose. I'm going to be selecting in this case my stock USP28. Now all of the videos in our live training series, uh, you'll be seeing that I start with this USP28 file. This is just personal preference. You can select other files in here and then modify them as we're seeing in the video. Um, taking a look at this application, this is a D16 engine. So this is a file for a D16 Z6 and we have a D16Y8. Very minor differences between the two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this and then click OK. Now when we do that, we see that the file here is going to be opening up in our S Manager software. We're going to find here that we see our field table right now. We're clicked on our table one here. That's our low cam table. We're going to see that populates. We see some two-dimensional lines here generated from our field table. So we have our file open. We're ready to start modifying this. Now, we're going to be going into our parameter section first. That's going to allow us to program all the background details, such as our map sensor type, our fuel injector size, or any other changes we've made on the sensor side of things. And then the actual fuel and ignition timing tuning are going to be done in our low and high cam tables right here. So it's pretty straightforward how this is going to work, but we need to kind of seg segment this into two separate sections of the S Manager software. So we're going to do the parameter section first, then jump into our fuel and ignition timing tables. So moving up into parameters here, we're going to find that it has a whole bunch of windows we need to go through. We're going to go through every one of these tabs so we can set this up for this vehicle, so it's very specific, and then we'll jump into our fuel and ignition tables and prep those and get it ready for doing our tuning process. So let's jump into our upper left-hand corner under analog inputs, and then we'll work our way all the way down here into the VTEC tab. Now under the analog inputs, this is going to be if you have auxiliary uh, inputs that you want to wire in, such as a fuel pressure sensor, oil pressure sensor, a wide band you could wire into here. Now this particular vehicle, I do not have any analog inputs, so we'll skip over this. Under the boost control, this is going to be used if you have the, uh, the S100 